Hello friends, happy spring. It's Terry with Terry's Mailbox and today I'm gonna to show you how to make this fun pop-up picket fence with flowers. So I did another pop-up card earlier and I decided that mm, I could turn that into a picket fence with an assortment of flowers coming out. So I started with the artsy stems. This is a Sizzix Tim Holtz and I die cut it in watercolor cardstock and then used my reinker, um, reinkers to paint it. So here I've got three pieces of watercolor cardstock. So again, that's what I'm gonna do the, um, the backgrounds with. So I pulled out this acrylic block and I'm adding mowed lawn at the bottom and tumbled glass up here at the top. I just kind of wanted some color, you know, in the back of the, the front of the card. So again, I spritzed it and then I laid it on the watercolor cardstock. Kind of left it there for a little bit, but then I decided, ah, eh, it wasn't quite dark enough. So I grabbed my um, watercolor brush and I'm kind of moving some of the colors around. Again, I didn't overlap the blue and the green. And then I decided, eh, I'm gonna add a little more blue in there. So make it a little bit darker. Hindsight, I wish I had done it even darker than this for the final project. But there's the front and now I'm working on the two inside panels. So again, this is mowed lawn at the bottom. And what I've done is I've spritzed the bottom of the pieces of watercolor cardstock and I'm just kind of running it an inch inchish <laughs> up the bottom of the of the watercolor panel and so then again I went back here to add some more splashes and you can see I got it up in the white part so I left this in here so I could show you what I'm doing here again watercolor um, inks and and just paints are so forgiving so again I'm just kind of dabbing a bunch of water on and with a clean paper towel um, parts <laughs> I am dabbing up the uh, the color to get it back off because this has to be blue like the sky is what I'm really working on so again once I had enough of that um, blotched off there I decided to go ahead and pull out again the tumbled glass um, smooshed it on my craft mat uh, spritzed it with water uh, ran my fingers through it Again, this is a technique I love to use. I do it quite often. So again, I grabbed the top portion of that watercolor cardstock, and I'm kind of just dipping and drying and adding the, uh, the splotches and things. So again, um, just adding the colors here so I can have the, uh, the sky and the grass. You should see an, an arrow at the right-hand lower portion of your screen. I'd love it if you'd become one of my subby friends here on YouTube. I have so much fun. So again, here I'm just kind of drying the final product, dipping it a couple more times. And so again, here are my three panels. So I've got the one on the left for the front, and then these, those were the two internal panels. So I cut a bunch of different cardstock strips. So I've got a half inch ones, a lot of them are quarter inch, a little bit longer. Some of them are quarter inch, a little bit shorter. I used the um, white, wood grain cardstock because again I'm making a picket fence so I'm going to put all of the measurements for the different pieces in the description below. So uh, to assemble the card I'm using Aileen's tacky glue. This is what I use when I'm working with watercolor um, because I just feel like it's it's a little bit thicker and I get really good adherence so I run it around the perimeter of the card use my finger to make sure it meets the meets the edges and then we'll go ahead and attach it here to the front of the card. I'm just kind of pressing it down. So I'm dealing with the half inch pieces right now and what I've done is I'm, I've scored those in half and they will kind of fold up to hold my rails and then my planks. So I'm using uh, the red tape. Anytime I'm doing anything that moves, I always use this red tape to attach it. I just think that works so much better. So again, I'm pulling one of those longer um, wood grain pieces. So again, um, those are three and three quarters inches long. So I've got, a, I've got them folded in half. And so I need to kind of figure out, okay, where 
you know, where do I want to put the end post for my picket fence? So again, you can see I'm making little pencil dots here. And the next thing I'm going to do then is pull those out and attach the side rails, the folded rails. So again, there's that, that red tape. So I'll go ahead and pull the backing off there. And then we'll go ahead and adhere it to the card base. And you can see I kind of double measured there to make sure it was going to fit. Use my bone folder to um, make sure it was pressed down well. So then we'll go ahead and put the other one over there to the left hand side. Sorry, my head got in the way. I <laughs> needed to make sure it was straight. So again, once I'm happy with that, then we'll go ahead and pull out again. These are the longer strips. Um, these are wood. They're three and three quarters. And in the end, um, I ended up trimming the edges off of the sides. You'll see me do that in a little bit. So I took clips to kind of flatten the folded piece there so that I could go ahead and glue the other pieces on there. So again, hindsight, the I should have matched the ends of each one of these rails to the actual end of the, the pieces, the posts that are holding up holding up the um, holding up the rails because again in the end I couldn't close the card and that's when I kind of discovered oops I gotta I gotta trim that a little bit so that's what you see me doing here is just kind of trimming just a itty bitty bitty tiny bit off of there so that the card would close and again then my plan is to add flowers both on the back of the card and to the front or to the back of the, um, the uh, post. So here I am adding the smaller ones. So again, these are two and a half inches long by a quarter inch. So I just kind of figured out what's a good even spacing. And then I added all of those um, rails on there or post. So I'm gonna work on the front now. So again, I pulled out three of the artsy stem flowers. So I wanna kind of arrange those on there. Don't care that the stem's hanging off the bottom. I'll fix that in the end. So again, just using my white glue here, adding dots on there. And you can see off to the left there, kind of underneath my hand, there is another um, picket fence piece that I created. Again, at using the same, um, you know, the same size pieces uh, for the. Um, you know, for the post. So again, I wanted to add that to the front of the card. You've got a picket fence on the inside. I needed one on the outside. So again, the last thing I did is I added all of the flowers to the inside. So I started putting several on the back, um, on the base, the card base, and then I attached some to the inside of the picket fence. So I'm sorry, I don't have that part recorded. So again, here is that final card. There's the front and then it pops up there. And you can see here looks like a fun little flower garden. Again, it's Terry with Terry's Mailbox. I'm on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and Blogger. I'd love to have you become one of my subby friends. Have a great day.